Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, what I'm going to be talking about today has somewhat to do with the video later on, but at the same time, not really. Um, something that came to my mind while I was doing the earlier video was kind of the topic of respect towards you know other, other individuals in their likings. There are a lot of people in the world who have a tendency to like to judge others just based off, oh, hey, that's a kitty thing. That's that's a stupid thing to like. That's a childish thing to like. That's a opposite of me thing to like. It really depends on the person. The two I list are just the ones I hear the most. Um, and I get impacted by the same idea. That's, that's a stupid thing to do in life. That kind of thing. Like, this what I do on this platform. Um, and a lot of people who are creators on this platform have probably also been attacked by this same statement. It's extremely annoying that people look at it that way, but it's not really much I can do about it. It's annoying when people look at it um, without any kind of source of what the heck they're talking about. And if they do have a source, it's an outdated source that's not even relevant anymore. Um, a good example of this would be, you know, there are a lot of YouTubers on here, but like me, there are a lot of gaming ones. Um, many of the same story I always seem to hear from the, the more common ones is that they start up. They're doing reaction to whether it's a horror game or a generic game or whatever it might be. And people tell them they're just going to fail because gaming is pointless. Gaming is useless. It just rots your brain. Blah, 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 blah. All those things that have been psychologically constantly been proven otherwise. Um, as long as you're not spending too much time on it. But this is just a prime example of what I'm talking about. People jump the gun and just assume things based off what they think they know and they'll base their judgments off of what they think they know. I've fallen victim to this before, but at least there are a lot of people who like this as well. Um, I've admitted my wrong. When I'm wrong, I admit it. When I'm actually wrong. People try to prove me wrong and then go, this is why. And I'll still have pretty valid backup to prove me otherwise. But in those circumstances, I'm that's not what I mean. It kind of strays off of what I'm originally talking, talking about anyway. The most annoying thing of what I'm referring to from others' judgments are things like anime and manga. A lot of people in the world just look at take one tiny short look at it and go, nope, that's bad. I don't know what it is. Haven't seen it. Haven't gone through it. I see one image of it. I'm done. That's what a lot of people do. And it's downright annoying. It's kind of... It's basically judging a book by its cover. And that's what a lot of people have a tendency to do. Not everyone, but a lot. And it's kind of saddening to watch. Judging a book by its cover is probably one of the dumbest ways to go about approaching life. If you judged every single individual by the way they looked, I guarantee you'd be wrong about the person 85% of the time. Maybe a bit more than that. The only reason I say this is due to the fact that Of the phrase itself, actually. Never judge a book by its cover, because you... It, 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 I don't know. It's... Because you never know a person until you've actually met them. Or you've never... You never know a story until you've actually read, watched, or heard it. Some stories are extremely predictable when it's the same person creating this story for like the, with the same um, pattern for the billionth time, but at least you've read past stories and you know what to expect, at least to some degree at this point. But 
That's not what I mean. What I mean is more the idea that people... I'm talking about people who, like, look at someone like, I don't know, me. If I was out on the street wearing the pants that I am right now... If I went out, like, the way I was right now, my hair is only half done. Well, this is how my hair is normally anyway. It kind of does itself for the most part. I do brush it to the side every now and then like this, and it's more done, but that's really all I have to, ever have to do. But if I went out in a public place where nobody knew me, I guarantee most people would go, ah, oh, great, another hobo. No. Obviously not. <laughs> but it's still stupid. It is still extremely stupid that, that this is the mindset of a lot of people. And... You know, it's because people like believing stereotypes, which worsens the case, but for the most part, that's kind of where this course from, from what my understanding is. Anyway, I'm going to keep venting if I talk about this. Have you guys have ever had any experiences like that kind of thing before? If so, uh, firstly, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you have something direct you'd rather me talk about than just kind of something vague like this, I didn't really have much. I thought I had something, but then in the video you see later today, I said something, but I can't find it for some reason. Anyway, um, if you like this video, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm a little backed away from the camera, so it's harder to do that. Uh, Want to check out any other discussion rant type videos I've done? Click the link on the side of my head. Um, or if you want to check out something that YouTube thinks you might like more, Click link on the other side where it'll take you to a, a very specific video that it chooses out for you. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone, and I hope to see all of you in another. Bye, guys.